Okay. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Welcome to the stage, Cayman Baker.
some music fans who we have out there. That was pretty good, but I feel like y'all got a little bit more in you. How many country music fans have we got out there? That's better, fuck it. So I grew up on all kinds of music from old rock and roll to gospel music. And you know what? Through that journey of just music in my life, Country music has always been one of the most important things to me. And these next couple of songs are the foundation of what built women in country music. So I know you guys are going to know a lot of these songs. And it's Saturday night and we're raising money for a great cause. You guys get up here and dance, have fun with us, sing with us. You're going to know some of these amazing songs that made history. <laughs> Church, watch that. Well, I 
And I feel like that's the reason why I tripped. I'm gonna blame it on that. You know. <laughs> uh, but no, I, you know, I'm from Panama, Virginia originally, and I'm out in Hurricane Mills now, which is about an hour west of Nashville, and I write lots of songs. Some songs that I probably will never do, but then there's those songs that you write and you're like, dang, I think I really gotta put this one in my set. So this song, I pretty much walked into a writer's room and uh, I had a shirt on that said, you can keep it, Jolene. And I was actually writing this song with a really great friend of mine, her name is Janelle Arthur. She was actually on uh, American Idol a couple seasons ago and made it to top eight. She's incredible. Um, but I also wrote this with a really great artist who happens to be my boyfriend, as well as his name is Joe Lasher, but he's like, you know what? Let's write a song called You Can Keep Him. So I know you ladies out there can totally relate and understand and feel me in this song. So I hope you guys like it. This is a brand new tune. I don't know how you swap back and forth. 
to the electric, to the acoustic. <laughs> Great welcome. The life of the party always, Mr. Aaron Lee. And back here, killing the drums and the background vocals. Make welcome, Mr. Randy Nash. You know, I wouldn't be able to travel around and do all this stuff if it wasn't for these guys up here, so I always like to take time to just let them know how much that I appreciate them. So, with all that being said, I had a couple people ask me tonight if I would do this, and uh, this is very, very unprepared and unrehearsed. But we're going to do a brand new song. Um, it was actually a duet when I wrote it. But I'm thinking about potentially recording this song. I have a lot of really exciting things going on right now, and I really don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I started filming a reality TV show, and I don't know if I should be super excited or super worried because they're going to interview my dad, so it could be potentially bad. I've got to keep the first words under control. But no, we, we have a lot of cool and exciting things going on in 2020, and I uh, can't really announce some of that stuff right now, but one of the things that I have just been absolutely delighted that kind of came in my way without really expecting it to, but my EP Blackbird was inspired by something that was very heartbreaking for me, and also Aaron over here that wrote it with me. Uh, but through that whole entire process, we ended up launching a hot sauce into all of the Food City stores, and we're getting ready to launch them into all of Ingles stores. So it's been a really, really incredible year, but also something that I just think God placed in front of me that I never expected it to happen at all. And sometimes those are the most, I think, awesome things that happen to you. So I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna play this brand new song for you guys. I think Darren's gonna do some background vocals. This is called Good Baby. It's given my attention, you have my heart skipping ever since you came around. No way to find it, there ain't no denying it, the way we're feeling now. Oh, we both know what's happening here, the living come out in the atmosphere, taking over town. No coming down, no. We got a good baby, a dang good thing in the making. Better than a summer night, kicking in the moonlight, tipping and sipping to a song. Hit you just right, good baby, good baby. We got a good baby, good. They all gonna tell us that we got everything. Then they say in the morning, got them good vibes flowing right here between you and me. But we all know what's happening here. The living cloud not in the atmosphere. Taking over town, ain't no coming down. No. We got a good.
surprise you with that. He just told me we would talk about that. <laughs> and I was like, it's big chicks. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I like it. All right, let's see, I don't know what we got next year. Oh, so we're gonna do a Tom Petty song. This is a song that I feel like Randy can really shine on. Uh, if you guys can't tell, he's an incredible singer. So we're gonna let him do a little bit of this song up in here. This is called Stop Dragging My Heart Around. to be able to 
not only write and uh, record this song, but also be able to film a music video in all the places that I grew up visiting and uh, places that I just, you know, I call home. So, if you guys know this song, I want you to sing it with me. This is called Heart of Appalachia. Southern Virginia home Where talk is slow And the mountains are tall And the cool clinch river runs through it all Where there's any line fields And clear waterfalls That's where I belong Sing it! Sir, 
Come on up. Stand right here. Let's see. Over here in the blue shirt back here with the glasses on. Come on up, sir. Let's see. Do we have any ladies? Over here in the black shirt back here with the ball cap on. Come on up. All right, let's get some ladies up here. Where are the ladies at? Green shirt right there. Let's see. Brianna, come on up. And, yep, my shirt right here. Come on up. All right, what I want y'all to do is get in a single line right here. Now, what I didn't tell them is basically they're going to be answering some country music questions today. Some country music trivia. We're going to find out how well you guys know your country music. Are you... Are you positive you know your country music? You can bring the news. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever gotten that one. <laughs> so here, here's the thing, and I'm not going to keep you all up here too crazy long, but um, for anybody that really doesn't know very much about me, um, Pepper Palace, that's based in Sevierville, Tennessee, has created a custom hot sauce. And so earlier I was telling you guys that it launched into um, over 133 food city stores, and now we're getting ready to launch it into over 200 and some angle stores. So it's pretty crazy. So what we're going to do is if you guys get these questions right, you're going to go home with a bottle of Kevin Baker Blackbird sauce. Y'all down? I'm not seeing much enthusiasm out here, guys. I'm concerned for these folks, guys. I'm real concerned. All right, we're going to start with you. Where are you from and what's your name? Oh, we live in Kings Court, AP. AP. Do you know your country music, JP? Someone? Someone? All right, I want to take it easy on you. Which female country artist has her very own amusement park? There we go. If you didn't get that one, I was going to kick him on up the stage. <laughs> All right, what's your name and where are you from? Tina. All right, Tina. An easy one? All right, I'll give you an easy one. Who sang the famous song as a female, Coal Miner's Daughter? All right, we'll give it to you. No cheek, who was it? Y'all call him out. I see you all out there. I could a minute ago. All right, I, I definitely know who you are, but you want to tell them where you're from and what your name is? I'm going to give you a hard one because I know you know your country music. You got a good one, Randy? Like a real tough one? Who sang in 1969? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Won't prevent that kind of question from happening. Oh, this one's this one's fairly easy, but we'll give it this one. So, which male country artist opened his very own restaurant and bar in Gatlinburg, Tennessee? Yeah, what was it called? Yeah, y'all give it up for him. Actually, give it up for all these people up here. Just. Where are you from? My name is Carly and I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina? Well, where in North Carolina? Not really the mountains? Oh, that's awesome. The so what part though? Allegheny County. Is that how I said it? Allegheny. Allegheny. Alright. So, now this, this is kind of Peter in the line. Now, she once was in country music, okay? And when I started listening to her, she had a song out called Teardrops on My Guitar. And she is now the biggest pop star that we know today. She's mega. She sells out in marinas all over the place. Do you know who this is? Yeah! That's good. I don't know if I've asked that. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Roger Ramey. I'm from Wines for It's your turn to ask a question. That was your question? <laughs> really? Great minds think alike, huh? You have one? I usually don't get Aaron and all them, but we're gonna keep it PG. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, there's a song that made famous. One person wrote it as she was 
Harding show wrote a song, love song. It's called I Will Always Love You. Who is the writer of this song? It was Holly, probably. I love you. Who wrote it? Porter Ragnar, I hear that's what Aaron says, but Whitney Houston also sang that song, so it's a pretty powerful, it's actually one of my favorite songs of all time, it really is. Oh, I'm going to give you the easiest one of them all, okay? What's your name and where are you from? All right, Roger, now I'm going to tell you something. Now, I grew up listening to all kinds of music. Now, this is kind of stepping outside the territory of country music a little bit. And I know you're going to know this, okay? Which male artist has been labeled as the king of rock and roll? He has the most amazing dance moves. He created some of the most interesting dance moves that we know today. Who is this man? answering these questions. <laughs> Y'all give them one more round of applause. Roger's still on the show, really. All right. So uh, this next song, this is actually one of my favorite songs to date. Now I know I've been asking a lot of questions, but this is the most important question of the night, and I need a crowd participation. How many of you guys want to go on these really nice, nice vacations and buy that really nice purse or maybe that really nice wallet, and you're like, um, I just can't do that because I'm broke. Can anybody relate?
the stage, Ms. Edmund Baker. Oh boy, what are we going to do? <laughs> Somebody say coal miners learn. Well, I don't know. I mean, I do know that one, but they don't know that one, so we'll just stay away from that one. How about we do a little bit of silver shine? You shine. <laughs> Darren, this is your turn to really just show off if you want to with this song. Okay. We're tired. We're really tired. Are you are you thriving over here? Ah! Can you all hear him? No. Talk about it. Hey. Oh Lord, help me, Jesus. He can't just he kept me saying, okay. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right. I reckon we're going to do this song for you guys. I didn't know we were coming back out, but we are going to do this damn thing. Right, Aaron? <laughs> Now people don't mind We all get this point. 